Oregon's here we go. Oh my goodness in heaven. The drought. The drought is over. <laughs> What is good everybody today we're going on another wwe action figure toy hunt and it has been a minute since we did go on our last toy hunt it should be a good one hopefully we're on the look for so many things though man i feel like i'm so behind on figures i was making a list of the figures that i still have yet to review on the channel the other day god i feel like i haven't slept in six years i look like a damn mad scientist or something but i made that list of figures and it felt like the list was so long i was like damn man i'm missing so many figures it's because i can't find them or i can't find a good deal on them I mean, you have Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero, Ultimate Edition Mankind, you have that SmackDown 4-pack, you have the Ultimate Edition Undertaker that's Legends exclusive, you have the Ultimate Edition Eric Bischoff that we haven't found, the new Legends set is hitting target, I have not found Monday Night Wars Series 2 or 3, two whole new Build-A-Figure sets, so... I am way behind on reviews, I'm way behind on figures, and it stinks, man. So my area is just not good right now. Hopefully we can reverse the curse in this video, find some good stuff for you there. But it should be a fun one, man, today. Actually, at the time of recording this, College Football 25 comes out, so very excited about that. Hopefully it's a good day. Hopefully I don't hate the game. I'm very excited for it, and I'm intrigued, and hell, we've been waiting on this moment so damn long. I don't even care. I, I don't even care. Today, uh, the blinders are on. I don't even care if it's trash, you know what I mean? But anyways, man... Let's get in the car. Let's go in our first location. We'll go over there. We'll see if we can find some good stuff. Hopefully, we will be able to good, you know, find good things. But anyways, man, I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the car. Location number one, Walmart. Got to find some shish, man. Every time I come here, and I finally clean my windshield for everybody bishing about it. All right, man, here at Walmart. We'll see what we got. Not feeling promising. We got a whole lot of nothing, it looks like, man. What a disappointment. Got Knuckle Cruncher Series 2. Looks like no Austin, though. Got Sheamus. Got everybody but Austin. AJ Styles. These Hogan's, man. These Hogan's be shell forming. Bunch of chases. Three chases. Wow, wow. Even more. God dang. All right, we got even more chases. Doink, doink. More chases. More chases. More chases. That is crazy as hell. Got Katana Chance, Shayna, Katana Chance, Shayna, AJ, Shayna, Shayna, Katana, and AJ. And then we got we got Austin Theory and John Cena. And then we have a damn phone battery. What in the hell? Man, not okay. We got Pinto, we got four of those. And it looks like some of them have sold. Oh, we got a Monday Night Wars Hogan back here. That's kind of different. Very heavy, why is that so damn heavy? I might would buy this. I don't really want to pay full price, but it does have the Build-A-Figure part in it. I don't know. We'll sit on that. I don't know why it's so damn heavy, though. It feels like there's a damn, I don't know, like a lead ball in there or something. But a lot of Pentas, they are in clearance, but I'm not going to buy them yet. We have Anthony Bowens. We got Tony Storm. One Matt. These Nyla Roses have been here for 20 years. And it looks like the China and Trish Battle Packs have left, but still nothing, you know, worth the pickup. Okay, that's nothing, you idiot. We have the Rebound Rings. We have some plushes here. We have another Theory and Cena 2-pack back here. We got the Legacy Pack, which has got like seven of them. Alone, Alexa Blith, Alexa Blith, Alexa Blith, Alexa Blith, Alexa Blith Ultimate, you clown. And underneath here, it doesn't look like we have anything, so. It's all the same, all the same shish, man. Just a, the same old shish, just a different day. Out here trying to get it each and every way, man. Hate to see it. Oh, I don't see anything. I thought, dude, so no pallet. So I haven't found the pallet. No Elite 110 or 11 or anything. I've seen some people hitting some crazy stuff. No Monday Night War Series 2 or 3. I'm behind, man. So we're struggling. But I haven't found the shipper or nothing. So we're just going to have to move it along. But complete bust. Complete bust. I might go to clearance real quick, though, and see. I always say that, and then you guys don't see the clip. It's because there's nothing there. So I, I record it, and then there's nothing. So it's like, why even put it in the video? All right, guys, here we go. Oh my goodness in heaven. The drought, the drought is over. Legends Undertaker. Oh my God, the head sculpt's clearly off, but the other two look good. Look at that right there. Dude, I think this might be the best Undertaker figure Mattel's ever made. We're gonna find out together, I guess, but what an epic find. Let's go, dude. What else we have up here? Oh, snap. We got the Target exclusive pay-per-view limited edition full gear MJF and Mox. Looking pretty good. Not not Mox. Mox doesn't look very good, but MJF cloth goods look good. I need to look and see how much that is. So we'll see about that. Definitely grabbing this. We got Python Power main event. Hulk Hogan. Do they have clear John Cena? No, it's just a regular edition. Or is this the chase? I can't remember. 
I don't remember. I think the Chase is this one, though, if I'm not mistaken. It's still pretty sweet basic, though. I like that they added the sweat bands. And then we just have a ton of Legends Hogan. No Chase. And no Chase. Honeycomb Mouth Brock Lesnar. No Chase Chelsea. The Sultan. And then... Gotta look around here. Let's see if we can find something else. Okay, these are in the wrong section. Look at that right there. Oh, oh my. What are we finding? Samoa Joe on Rival 15. That's Soraya. They have Daniel Garcia and not the Chase Ethan Page. Dead gum. Wow. Finally saw new stuff though. Finally found these new figures. What a score though. Need to go scan this full gear pack. I don't know how much it runs for. Definitely getting the Undertaker though, but I'm just glad to see new stuff at Target, man. Haven't had nothing in a minute, so let's go find out what this full gear pack is worth. All right, man, let's find out what it's worth. Oh my God, scan. 1999. What a damn deal. I'm gonna have to grab it for that. That's a, that, I think that's a purchase right there. 1999. Wow, I'm dumbfounded. I did not expect to find these. Only one Undertaker too. So hopefully, I don't think it's street dated. Hopefully it's not street dated. Wish that was the Chase Chelsea. I'd probably grab it, but not bad. Oh, we have LA Knight back here too. Just noticed. A couple of LA Knights. Don't need that, but Python Power Hogan. Not bad, man. Really, uh, that's a W right there. Can't believe we hit. Let's go look at other stuff. Oh my God, man. I'm so frustrated as hell. God in heaven. You'll notice that the bag doesn't have any... Oh, wait a minute. I gotta show off these shoes here in a minute. But I couldn't get the Undertaker, man. I couldn't get the Undertaker. It was straight dated for July 21st. So a week from the time of recording this, I will be able to get the Undertaker. Now, why the hell would you put it on the pegs? And I know there's gonna be people saying, oh, well, just take a different Ultimate Edition over there, scan that, and walk out of the store. First of all, there was no other Ultimate Edition, okay? There was no other Ultimate Edition. I could have scanned a couple of Elites and, you know, paid more for it and just took The Undertaker or whatever, man. But that, I don't know, that just feels kind of ishy. It, not ishy, but just, it, it kind of feels a little shady, you know? You gotta set the right precedent there. You know, I'm just gonna take it on the chin. Now, one thing is, if I would have taken The Undertaker up there, like I scanned it, and it said, you know, target employee come over, he comes over, and he looks at it, and he's like, I can't get it to work, but if you'll go over to the customer service, maybe they'll help you out. See, I thought, I thought that, you know, maybe he, you know, if they bypass that and sell it to me anyway, or price match it or something and gave it to me, now that's one thing. That would be going through their, you know, their entire process of buying it. However, since they didn't do that, and they, you know, they, they were like, nah, I can't sell it to you, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, try to, I don't know, it just feels like I'm crossing a boundary, and it just doesn't feel appropriate. So, there's all that, but we did get this full gear pack. Now, one thing about this, it doesn't look that good, all right? MJF looks, uh, it doesn't, mine actually doesn't look bad. I've seen a lot of people's look very shishy, but I love this damn trench coat right here. I am going to review this. We have pay-per-view limited edition only at Target. This Moxley looks like he got revived from the dead or something. That is an old head sculpt, unfortunately, but he does have the hoodie in there. He's got the red gear, and also I've noticed he's like 8, 12, so we'll have to see. But this is a very cool pack, and the craziest thing is that it's 1999. That's actually ridiculous, and I like that this just dropped out of nowhere. I like that we didn't know anything about it, and then, you know, we got, you know, all those different things, so it just showed up out of nowhere. That's like the best time there, so we have the full gear two-pack. This is a very cool set. I'm glad to have this, and I just noticed they added a hook. That wasn't like that. They finally added a hook to the two-pack, so that's something I haven't seen. But anyways, man, this is all we got. The Undertaker disappointed the shish out of me, but I do want to showcase some other shish. And one of those things is going to be the greatest hits. I did get these. Should I review this full wave? I don't know. I, I just want to see what you guys think. That damn greatest hits Brock figure, I still have it unboxed. I got to get this unboxed, but we'll just sit him over here for now. But we have the AJ Styles figure here. If you guys want me to review this full wave, I definitely will. But I didn't want to. I want to unbox them really bad, but I didn't want to until, you know, we had a review there. Should I review the Greatest Hits set first or the Full Gear set? You guys can let me know. But we do have Hogan here over here as well. You know, very cool set. I'm, I'm intrigued with it. I'm going to bring him over here. You know, I did pick up the backstage area just the other day. Look how nice and clean it is. I finally touched everything up. However, uh, my Cena's are still missing. missing. God, I can't speak. Still have all my damn Cena's over here, still stacked to the gills. I just, <laughs> I got to put them in timeline order, and then I got to put them all up there one by one all the way across. So that's going to be a very, you know, challenging deal here. But yeah, they, it still looks beautiful, just stacking them up right there. 
But there's also one more thing that I wanted to show, I think, and I want to show you show you guys these shoes. So I did grab, I know the audio is a little weird, it's because I'm in my storage closet. I did get this Supreme Kenny Omega. I can't remember if I showed that off, but I did grab an extra one of those at a Walmart toy hunt out of town. So I figured I'd go ahead and grab it anytime. I think it was on clearance too. So anytime you can find that figure, I'm going to be purchasing it. I don't care if it's 70 times. I'm going to buy that. That's a great figure. That's one of my favorite wrestling. If I did a top 10 wrestling, favorite wrestling figures of all time, the Supreme Kitty Omega would probably be up there. And then the last thing I wanted to showcase are these uh, Nike Air. I can't remember what they're called. The Nike React. And I found these on eBay, I think. And I thought, damn, dude, these look like <laughs> these look like they're like MDT colorway. I don't know. Like you have the pink, the blue, the black, and yellow. It's legitimately the channel logo and everything. So I thought these were perfect. So I wanted to grab them and they're very comfortable. Typically, I'm not big on a huge air bubble, you know, like Air Max, like air bubble like this because I feel like I'm sitting really high and I don't really like that. I like low prof profile shoes most of the time, but these are comfortable and they're badass looking. I think these look great. So I wanted to show these off just because I, I don't know, like if you put an MDT logo on there, they'd be perfect. Like maybe on the back, like right there on the back of the heel or maybe on the tongue. But even the lace lock looks sick, so maybe a lace lock logo, I don't know. But these looked really sweet, and I wanted to show them off. Now, outside of the toy hunt today, College Football 25 Deluxe Edition, I, I pre-ordered the game. It literally launches in 30 minutes, so I'm very ecstatic about this. Been waiting on this for a long time. If you guys are unaware, I'm a massive college football fan and just football fan in general. And so this is huge for me. I This is an unbelievable moment. If you guys are going to be playing this today or whatever, let me know down in the comment section below. It's a huge day. I'm going to be sitting here playing this for a very long time. It's just the way it is. So you guys can uh, let me know what you think about that. If you don't care about it, just give it a try, man. Give it a try. I don't know how good the game's going to be. I'm very excited about it, though. Should be fun, but I wanted to touch on that. This is a historic moment, so I wanted to plug it into the video for today. But, yeah, we got College Football 25. Anyways, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt. Very bummed out about Undertaker, man. Very bummed out about Undertaker. Don't put that shish out on the pegs if I'm not able to buy it. You know what I mean? If I can't buy it, don't show it to me. Don't put it out there. You know what? That's your mistake, man. If you put it out on the pegs, it should be eligible for purchase. But I am going to be going back to my Target to try and buy the figure on the 21st. Now, again, it was the only one. Hopefully, there's some in the back. Maybe I can try and buy it. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see about all those things. We'll have to, you know, dive into all that. We'll go on another toy hunt to try and get that. But I was so excited because I truly think it might be the best Undertaker figure ever made by Mattel. So I'm going to try my hand at that. But I think that is going to wrap it up, man. I'm very excited for that figure. But I guess I got to hold off just a little bit longer. And at least I have College Football 25 to help me wait here. But let me know if you want me to review the greatest hits or the Full Gear 2-pack first. Let me know those things down below. And if we review all these together, I will put some action shots in there from the arena like the other reviews. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Appreciate all those fellas so very much for their continued support. Thank you guys so very much for everything that you guys do on a daily basis for me, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. That is pretty much going to wrap the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.